Hello. I hope you decide to go down to four. I will K command and foreboding fruit you. Oh my god, can you gain life this turn? Hello, my fair citizen, Strider here with another awesome deck, but this time it is Historic Brawl. I know a lot of you have requested it once again, and here it is finally delivered. This is Meet My Dad, and of course, the only dad that is in Magic Arena is Angrath the Flame Chained. So Angrath is a five mana planeswalker, black and red, which is cool. We like Rakdos. Uh, four loyalty, which is pretty rough, uh, especially for five mana, has a plus one ability of each opponent discards a card and loses two life. This is nice because it's each opponent, meaning you don't have to target anybody. So if they have Hexproof, doesn't matter. If they have, um, like they cast Tefri's Protection and they phase out and they have protection from everything, it doesn't matter, right? Fantastic. Then, Angrath has a minus three ability of gain control of target creature until end of turn, Untap it, it gains haste until end of turn, and then sacrifice it at the beginning of the end step if it has a converted mana cost three or less. So this is awesome in so many ways. If in the off chance you have a really big creature on the battlefield and you want to give it haste, you can minus three your own creature to give it haste because it doesn't specify a creature your opponent controls. It's any creature. So that is something that you can use as a little trick here and there, but most of the time we're gonna use it to steal an opponent's creature, untap it and swing in, hopefully kill them with it, or at least make them sacrifice something like a Launor Elf or some type of mana dork, something that is really impactful and prevents them from doing something useful, right? And of course the minus eight, which we almost never get to do, it is each opponent loses life equal to the number of cards in his or her graveyard. This is just great because we're going to discard all of their cards, just force them to discard everything, blow up their stuff constantly, and then hopefully at one point in time we get to minus eight Angrath. I actually don't even, maybe in my whole MTGA career, I think maybe I've ulted Angrath twice ever. So it's really sad, and unfortunately I didn't get to with this particular deck, even though we won a shit ton, I didn't get to ult. Just big sad, big sad. But let me know if you have in the comments section below. I don't even know, does it have a special animation or sound? I don't even know anymore, I don't remember. Anyways, we have a slew of cards to make them discard cards, which is very, very important if we wanna fill up their graveyard, but also prevent them from doing anything that messes with our game plan. So we have Thoughtseize, Duress, Inquisition of Kozilek, Vicious Rumors, Croza, Agonizing Remorse, Yorick's Fenlurker, Demigorgon's Clutches, Davriel Rogue's Shadow Mage, Colgan's Command, Skull Raid, Carnival Carnage. Like there's a lot of discard. However, you know, obviously it's a 100 card deck and we can only run one of each, but it's still a lot of discard. And then obviously, of course, we have Angrath to to finish off all the discard stuff. And a lot of these things also do damage, being Carnival Carnage does damage, um, Colgan's Command does damage, and then of course, Angrath does damage. So all of these are really, really nice because of the fact that they serve multiple purposes, whether it's chipping away the life of the opponent, but also preventing them from doing anything useful. We do also have a couple really cool like combo synergy type things in the deck. Uh, we are using a card called Scheming Symmetry, which a lot of people don't use or even probably really know it exists. So it's a one mana tutor. Uh, choose two target players, so us and the opponent, right? Uh, since there's only two people. Uh, each of them searches their library for a card, then shuffles their library, puts that card on top of it. This is cool, but unfortunately, they also get to search their library for a card. That's dangerous. So what we're gonna do is we are going to run Vicious Rumors as well. So Vicious Rumors, it's great. They're forced to discard a card, but most importantly, they have to mill a card from the top of their library. The other card that we have to do this is Demigorgon's Clutches, which forces them to mill two cards from the top of their library. 
Um, we do have other ways to make them shuffle their library as well uh, with things like um, Fabled Passage. We can also prevent them from getting the card that they tutored by using Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin is great. We get to blow up a land and then they get to search their library for a, another land, put it into the battlefield, but that forces them to shuffle. Problem is that also forces us to shuffle. So we want to make sure we draw a card before we do that. Regardless, we also have Ghost Quarter, which essentially does the same thing, except it's only one-sided. We sacrifice the land, blow up one of their lands, they search our library. Super, super cool, right? So that is a little bit of synergy that we have there. It's a nice thing just to be able to look for something that we absolutely need. Again, since it's a 100-card Brawl deck, everything is singleton. We can only have one of each thing. We really need a card. That comes in clutch. And of course, with any Brawl deck, you need a fantastic win condition. So the only win condition that matters in this deck outside of Angrath Ultimate is Captive Audience. Captive Audience, one of my favorite cards of all time. Once it was announced, I was like, oh, Captivated. It's a seven mana enchantment, enters the battlefield under the control of an opponent of your choice. Now this is not target opponent, it's an opponent of your choice. So once again, if they have Hexproof, doesn't matter. Fantastic. At the beginning of your upkeep, this is your upkeep being theirs because it's under their control. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Your life total becomes four. Discard your hand. Each opponent creates five 2-2 two -two black zombie creature tokens. All of that is pretty damn good. So when they pick your life total becomes four, that is when we can take advantage of the little extra damage things that we have in the Carnival Carnage or Croza or Colgan's Command. There's, again, a few things that do two damage on and off. Angrath also does two damage. So we have a few things that will just poke the opponent for two damage. And once they go down to four life, getting a couple of those is really, really, really nice. And obviously the zombies help. You can just, as long as you can get two of them through, they're dead, right? But since those are essentially our only real creatures, they'll die almost instantly. And so that's that's kind of irrelevant. You will almost never kill anybody with those zombies. So keep that in mind. If that's your dream, your goal, your aspirations is to kill somebody with the zombies from Captive Audience, probably not gonna happen, but good luck, right? Now, in order to find our win condition, considering we can only have one of them, uh, we need to be able to tutor them up. And that's why we have Wishclaw Talisman, Grim Tutor, and then we went over Scheming Symmetry earlier. These are three cards that allow us to search our library for any card. And usually we're going to try to get either a board wipe if we need it, but captive audience as our main win condition. You know, we do have other win conditions in here, but they're not nearly as fun. So it's not even worth going over, right? And nobody cares about boring win conditions. We only care about captive audience. Let's be honest. At the end of the day, I will say that this deck is the truth. One of my best Brawl decks, I mean, I've only made two, I believe, and both of them have been amazing. So, yeah, uh, I really, really like it. It's definitely the truth. If you want to build this particular version, it is going to run you 32 rares and 13 mythics. So it's pretty expensive, but again, it is a 100 card deck, so you got to also factor that in. Regardless, it's a very good deck list. If you want the exact deck list, it will be at the top right hand corner of this video. It'll send you over to the Aether Hub page. If you want the text based version, it should be in the description below as well as another link to the Aether Hub page. Stay salty and enjoy the games. It's I don't think it I don't think the percentages are proportional. For some reason. It'll hold stick fingers. I 
Nice top deck. Nice top deck. Well, Drotha's sick. Oh, you can have a companion with your brawl deck, dude? I didn't know that. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, we got Tesa, which is fantastic. And then we get to Kaya's ghost form, minus the Davriel. Which is pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, you're gonna discard two cards. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to ask you to discard two cards. And I'm gonna bazooka buggy. <laughs> Got an opponent. No far, no, no steel. All I've left for you Sweet. Okay. They don't know. <laughs> and I get to draw a card because Liliana. <laughs> that was five head. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. No fire, no steel. No fire, no steel. Pokey! Pokey, 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 pokey. Pokey, 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 pokey. Pokey, 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 pokey. No! I'll draw a card, it's fine. Wait! But. But wait. There was so much more. It was coming, it was coming, it was all coming. It was coming so hard. It was coming so fast. The two mana spell, whatever it's called, feed the swarm. And then we have the land. But there's just, outside of that, there's just nothing we can do. Why did I keep this hand? a terrible hand all right it became better good top decks you put us in sweat tier whatever we have like the best deck that ever was created i don't know if they scribed to the top i don't know or not Earth Cunt Elemental. I don't like this. It's a rolling deck. Uh, 
this is, that's not the one I care about. I don't care about that one. As long as you don't have artifact removal. So much ramp. I feel like I should just play Ashiok as my creature. Or my whatchamacallit. My dude to watch it. Uh, could have snacked on delicious Cheeto fingers. Could have. Toughness X or less. Okay. No fire, no steel. Monsters. Here be monsters. I'm the monster. No fire, no, <laughs> no steel. Let's go. Take that. All right, let's draw a card. Woo! All right, the card. Ashoka's commander doesn't get games, opponent just scoops. Really? That sounds awesome. Sounds exactly like what I want. <laughs> How dare you, opponent? Tefri causes auto scoops. Which one? Three mana Tefri? Five mana? Three is still banned in this format. Um. fine sure why not haven't had a ban for a while oh I was excited I thought they were gonna copy it well, that's unfortunate. I should have just done finale and saved that. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, yes, I starve extinction. Yeah, I don't really need any lands right now. So let's thin out the deck a titty bit. Meet Hook Masker. We love to see it. Glad I kept that Feed the Swarm too. Glad I kept it. It's just she has been a citizen for two months. Damn. It's just Chief. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hold on. Planeswalker, sacrifice that. Joy. All land types and abilities. Does that turn into a non-creature? Let's experiment. <laughs> Let's experiment. Does it lose does it lose all creature types? Who's ready for an experiment? Bonbon! 
Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. All right. It did not remove those. Okay. It didn't. It didn't do what I was hoping it would do. Yes, science. But that's fine. All right. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine. No, <laughs> oh, no. Fine. So. Strip to three tired creatures, toughness three or less. I mean. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? This is fantastic. Did it lose vigilance at least? I actually don't know. It did? That's hilarious. That's great. Jaffer with the tier one. Exactly. We did destroy land. It's a big true. Elemental. Oh no. Opponent, your thing costs 10. Oh, that's funny. Would you also like to have a captive audience? Kappa? <laughs> a captive audience? <laughs> would you would you like that? No, opponent! Let me pick um one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, whatever, whatever. Struggling. Good. What is my Discord? Exclamation mark Discord. Okay. Wait, but captive audience. <laughs> but we were also captivated. <laughs> All right, we are Angrath rampaging the fuck out of people. As long as they don't have enchantments, right? As long as, long as they don't have enchantments. I mean, it's a turn two duress, which kind of sucks, but it's Nick Cage in a boat. Right? And that's all that really matters. Ooh, we have the combo in our hand. Hi. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do this. If we can get another land, that would be optimal. I get to double this ability, which is nice. Have them exile two cards from their hand. Please leave my Lithoform engine alone. Give me one turn at least. Okay. Aha! Take that fucker. Sigardia should be human travel, but this is arena, so who knows? Yeah, but it's also brawl, right? Just 
Interesting. Interesting. Why does everyone have this? Why? Yeah, you should have probably killed that before I could get value out of it. Yeah. Maybe they kill the Warlock class? Wait, what? Uh oh, that doesn't work. Well, that sucks. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't work? It says when it becomes level 2, look at the top. I thought it would still work though. Yeah, exactly. I already am, too. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Which sucks. That blows. I didn't I didn't think about it. Just don't even worry about my warlock class, it's fine. Damn it. There goes my combo. Which is very unfortunate. But we still have Angrath, obviously. Or if we top deck an untapped land, I can Chandra into an Angrath, and that would be beautiful, right? I can Chandra into Lithoform Blight, which draws me a card. That works. Burn. Burn! You ever see water burn? Not yet, but you will. Some minus three, minus three. <sighs> Do I let her die? I don't think I can. I, think I miscalculated. I think I miscalculated.
Uh -uh. Uh, let's do this. You're going down. Let's do that. You're just for the uh, I don't trust that they can't gain life. Yeah. So no fire, no steel. Yeah, Angrath will suck their creature exactly. Oh, Do we? I think this is pretty aggressive. I don't know yet, though. I don't know yet. I think they kill my Chandra, right? Minus three on the Chandra. I don't like that play. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Minus three would have just killed it, but it would have killed the Chandra as well, right? So I don't know if that was a good move either. She's dead? Yeah, but she's dead from Starve Extinction too. Not bad. Am I fucked? Am I dead if I do this? No. Okay, we're fine. Thank. One, two. Set up to three, but that's it. I'm like, really? You're not going to kill my Angrath? Really? But, but you lose. I don't give a fuck. The fire's out, but the oh, wait. Whatever, didn't matter. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. I don't know. I don't think they understood. They had to just attack it with the 2 2. That's what they needed to do. So it wouldn't kill it. Goes on air. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. Oh, 
Um. Let's get rid of your green source. Yeah. Should I have foretold this? I might have needed to foretell that. Try to get some card draw value out of Skull Raid. Alright, we got the Ori. It's probably incorrect, but I really want to get my Angrath out next turn. W. <laughs> nice colorless triome, bruh. <laughs> well, I guess technically it taps for any color now, but it's still funny. Um... Absolutely. Absolutely. The Shrieker with three gifted subs. What's going on, mine? How you doing? Thank you so much. We got Joker Ace, Chase Clark, and... Wait, what else happened? What did I miss? Wait, what happened? Opponent. What, what happened?
All right, I found them. I have a bunch of colors. A bunch of colors. Free mulligan? Nah, dog. All right. Do we have any suggestions? HZ Boon Boon six. Thank you so much, Bun Bun. I appreciate it. All of the support. Esper Sentinel. Disagree. Disagree with your card draw. I guess I should have put out the other untapped land I had. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're not taking that much damage anyway. Play with balls and get scissored. Hey. Sacrifice an enchantment because fuck you. Because fuck you. Dragons. All right. We're good. I think. I think we're good. Uh oh, that's what Nexus. Oh, fire. Oh, you ever seen water burn? You will. I know, perfect timing. Yeah, I'm glad I used that instead of my blood on the snow. It's a great, great card. It ain't even a fucking problem. It ain't even a fucking problem. We lost to a mono white deck and we lost to an Essica deck. It's, it's not bad. Okay. It's fine. I think I will actually put this down first. So I can still do this on turn two. I need to. I don't know if I will. We'll probably do this. Tap that for a thing and then we can do the other stuff. Yep. Hog. All right, cool. Oh, it's a, another sliver deck. I fought up against this fucking thing like 58 times already. 
Could we not? Oh no, we beat the Eska deck. We lost to the Sliver one. Is this just what's around? Everyone's just playing Sliver? Because Cascade is lit. Absolutely! Whoa! I don't have... <sighs> Those are both really, really tough targets. I think I just captive audience next turn. Legion Zen not the best for this format? Yeah, I don't know. Hello. I hope you decide to go down to four. I will K command and foreboding fruit you. Oh my God, can you gain life this turn? Yeah, captive audience, let's go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> captive audience, the best, the best fucking card in the format. <laughs> fucking outplay. <laughs> so at the end of the day, this deck ended up going eight and two. Now, apparently, I'm relatively good at making historic brawl decks. I don't know why. This is the second one I've made, and the second one out of two that has done very, very well. Um, granted, it's only 10 games, so it's somewhat of a small sample size, but it did beat the shit out of every sliver deck that we played against. So a lot of people seem to have issues with sliver decks. Uh, we had zero problems. We did, however, lose to the Essica deck, uh, Prismatic Bridge. That's just something, unfortunately, in black and red, we're going to have problems getting rid of enchantments over and over and over again. We only have a few ways to do that, so unfortunately, it's a really, really bad matchup for us, and it's just kind of something that we have to accept. Uh, and it's kind of the same thing with Oswald Fiddlebender. We don't have a ton of ways to get rid of artifacts, so once again, it's just a very bad matchup, borderline unwinnable, especially if they have a decent hand and a decent deck, and if it gets to late game. It's just very, very difficult. So I don't know if we're able to surpass that particular barrier, but outside of that, uh, I don't believe we have any true bad matchups, uh, which I really like. However, I'm not fully 
briefed on uh, the current meta with Historic Brawl since I don't play it enough. However, once again, it felt amazing. I really like the deck. I think it performs very, very well. The people in the stream that do play Historic Brawl seem to think that it was a very well-constructed deck, and it, prof I mean, the proof is in the pudding. We beat Slivers all the time. Fucking easy. Not even close. And as for yesterday's comment question of the day, I asked you, what's your favorite brand of beef jerky or favorite flavor or anything? What's your favorite beef jerky? Tell me something about beef jerky and you. Give me a story. <laughs> uh, this is the dumbest question we've ever asked here. Here are your answers. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.